Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at finding the area of some slightly different shapes. So in my previous video, I did rectangles, triangles, and circles as an example. Um, here we've got a parallelogram and a trapezium. So we're gonna find the areas of these. Firstly, I'm gonna mention perimeter. So I did in my last video talk about perimeter. Now these work exactly the same way. So we're just adding the lengths of the sides. So to find the perimeter of my parallelogram, I add these sides together. So I add five plus three plus five plus three. And for my trapezium, again, same deal. So I do five, add 10, add five, add seven. So my perimeter of these shapes is actually quite easy. I just add the lengths of the sides. Now area is where these become a little bit different. So I have on my left hand side my uh, parallelogram and as I mentioned in my last video when we're finding the area of a parallelogram it's just base times height. So it works exactly the same way as our rectangles do. Now the base again is the length of the bottom of the shape. So this is my base and my height is not these diagonals, it's the height directly up between the top, between the top and the bottom. So this is my height. So my base is five and my height is two. So the area of this parallelogram is 10 and it's units squared, so it's centimetres squared. So that's parallelograms, they work exactly the same way as rectangles. So now let's look at the trapezium. So with the trapezium, we have a formula to follow. So it's half times height times A plus B. Okay, so the height, we've already had practice identifying the height, that is the length between the top and the bottom. So it's this four centimeters here, that is our height. And our A and B. So our A is our top side and our B is our bottom side. So A, B. And then we just plug the numbers into the equation again. So my area is half times my height of four times A plus B. So A is seven, B is 10. So we've got that. I'm just gonna rewrite it with some sensible numbers. So half times four times seven plus 10, which is 17. And now we've got something that we can pop into a calculator. So let me grab it. So I'm gonna do half, well, half is the same as 0 0.5, I'm gonna use that instead. So 0 0.5 times four times 17 is 34. And again, unit squared, so it's centimeter squared. And that is the area of my trapezium.